I think the inspector wants some dinner. The inspector. Safety inspector. Woo, woo, woo. Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the Royal Snail Van. It is my 2009 Fiat Doblo and it's developed a problem. It's uh, got a issue when braking from the rear. It's making a funny old noise, a dum, 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 dum at slow speed. Only, interestingly, when the clutch is depressed and you are braking. What's going on? Well, we'll soon find out. Good afternoon. Hello, son. How are you? I'm all right, my old matey lad. Uh, you've been working hard on your Peugeot I've been this deep afternoon, deep. and a Peugeot video is coming it's better to than watching YouTube all the, the time. The channel. Um, this I'm, is my Royal Snail. I'll get addicted you, to it. Though. You've heard the fault. You've heard the thud, thud, thud. Yeah. What do you reckon? Well, we could just chuck it up and have a look now, though. But what's your professional opinion? I don't know. Could be anything, couldn't yeah. it? Um, I think it's the near side, you think it's the offside. I half expect some of the shoes has fell off, to be honest with you. What, on the van? I think the lining just fell off. Yeah, I, I think you might be right, actually. Um, uh, yeah, does it happen over time? Linings fall off and thud and knock about. We shall soon find out. You jack her up then, we'll yeah. get the wheels off. I think and you're uh, going to help me. See what the problem is. Yeah, I'm going to help you. Yeah. Tripod and we're going to do one each side. Good stuff. Place your bets now. Put it in gear, okay. take the handbrake off. So it's in gear. Why have you done that? Because I want to spin the wheels. Yep. Now you've just chopped the front wheels. I have, mate. That's to stop the van from buggering off. Thank God we've got two jacks. That's a job easier, doesn't it? Yours is better than mine. I like how you've grabbed the good one. So Let's both whip the wheels off. Both sound fine. Let's whip the wheels. Can I just can I just remember to tell you though, it is when we're braking yeah. that the issue is happening. Let's whip the wheels and the drums off. Yeah. It's the easiest way, isn't it? Take it off and have a look. Yeah. Don't forget axle stands. Put your axle stands in because safety! <laughs> safety inspector. Hey in. Off come the wheel trims and the nuts at the same time because the trims are held in place by the wheel studs. Best practice, we should have cracked the wheel nuts first. Ah, good. Off comes the wheel. Here comes the drum. Huh. Well, nothing super duper obvious there at the moment. There isn't right, no. Now to the other side. Do the liners look okay? The initial, the initial having a look. The, uh, the Fiat forums suggest that the original liners should last 350,000 miles. And obviously the van has done 120 something. Barely run in. <laughs> the leading shoe's worn more than the trailing shoe. That's the leading shoe, you see. Remember what I told you about self-servo? Yes. That pushes, that drags it in. So it's dragging it in and wearing most there, but she's got plenty of meat left on her. Good stuff. And the wheel cylinder's looking okay. I haven't got a screwdriver to poke them yet, but uh, let's just have a look to the side. Because we didn't, didn't go to the lengths of sitting me in the back. No, we didn't. But it's a good job we haven't had a bet on this, because you might about be about to lose. Thank you. Thank you. Check out my bump stops, by the way. They were replaced a few years ago. They don't seem to have ripped themselves to shreds like before, so that's good news. That's a bit rusty. Where's that van been? Sorry, mate. Ah, there we go. Put it in at the bottom of the sea. Ah. Well, there's nothing obvious there either. 
I'll be honest with you, I think it's just a build up of dust. What's your verdict? What's your initial thoughts? Build up of dust, I think. Really, yeah? So give it a clean, put it back together, take it for a spin. That's it, mate. Sounds good. I've just noticed something. This one? It says Lancia on the inside of that drum. Oh, cool. I've got a Lancia. The brake's all right apart from this noise. Yeah, well, apart from the squealing at the front. Yeah. And you've obviously heard that. So we're just doing this tonight, are we? I don't think we're going to start stripping the front brakes off tonight, no. This is John Cooplands at home. Yeah. I'm at work tomorrow. And I think the inspector wants some dinner. The inspector. Van inspector. I hope you're pleased the fact that I didn't call these a drum cover. You're learning. Why, I understand the externals, but why would the internals get a build up like that? What of? Uh, brake dust and rot. Which side are we working from? Which, which is my drum? This is your drum, this is mine. Uh, are you going to cheat, are you? That's cheating. So you've had a good look at everything else in there. The self-adjuster might not be working properly. No, it's a bit seized up probably. But um, we're on a bit of a time scale tonight. We're just trying to stop that, uh, that rattle. So we pop that one back together. I think that was the one that was causing the problem. Oh, bless you. You. I think that was the one that was causing the problem, but uh, we'll soon find out. Meanwhile, I've given this one a good old uh, angle grind off and a clean, again, Lancia. So you put some copper slip uh, on that flange area there, we've cleaned the flange off. Just giving that a last bit of clean off, putting it back together this side. And then it is road test time. Nothing obvious found, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it was just a build up of crud. Wheel time. Wheels. Wheels on fire. Hang Wheels on. on fire. Here's your wheel, but I need your trim as well. Do, 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 do. Looking trim. Hey John, I like your wheel trims. Thank you. They came from Denmark. Would you like to do what you're suggesting? What, stick the foot on the brake? Yeah. I blooming well will. Spin her up. I need to do it slower than that. Well, I can't hear any noise from yeah. that side. Let's just make sure we don't fall it off, dude. Same again. Ready? Yes, son. Yeah, okay, smooth enough. Wheels are getting torqued up. Axle stands will come out. It's time for a test drive. Down she comes. One faster than the other. Well, actually, that wasn't about half an hour's graft. Shall we uh, take it for a spin? Yes, son. I'll get the camera set up in the uh, cabin so folks can join us. I've put the inspector away safe and we'll go for a spin. Ready? Yes. This is the first time I think I've ever had uh, Dad in the van on camera. Come on in! Whistling while I'm trying to film. So I can't do pieces to camera when you're blooming whistling I sent, all the time. I sent your mum a text saying, dog in house, don't let her out. No. Right, let's go. This is the first time we've done a test drive, by the way, in the vein. So if we fix the problem at the back, hmm. what's causing the squeal at the front? I don't 
Hang down, John, yes. until I take it to bits. Obviously, he's been doing it for a while, hasn't he? Has it's when it gets hot. Right, here we go then. And there's people behind me, so I'm going to pull over. People? Oh, it's gone, hasn't it? Eh? It's gone. Has it? Well, right. So, we're on the road test. We're on it. Now, I've got a bit of a rant. They call this resurfacing or this top dressing. Top dressing. To me, they just stick a load of hot tar down and a load of stones and that's go, it, that's what don't they, drive over 20 miles an hour. That's what they, uh, they sent us a little letter about, what is top dressing? And they sent us a little, no, there's a little leaflet that tells you all about it. It's no right, good. Why pick up in the doctors? Have you got these symptoms? Do you have there's questions? They've not filled in the pothole properly and it's come off already. They're anyway. They're not filled potholes. Let's though. not worry about the that. Bit, the road sweeper came up and down several times at the weekend. Yeah, but look at that big gap there. Look. Anyway, let's put the brakes on. A build up of dirt. Still there, is it? Yeah, listen. Ready? Yeah, offside rear, isn't it? Still there. I can't hear it as loud as it it's was. It's not though. as bad as it was. No. Let's go this way. Don't worry about it. There's no falling off. Still doing it. But it's not as loud as it was. Let's go and get it down the end of the road. What a beautiful night in Lincolnshire, by the way. Oh, that's a beautiful dog. Because of four, it was going dunk, 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 dunk. It was. It's not going dunk, 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 dunk. There. It's not. It's still there, but it's not as loud as it was. We've done some good then. We have done We've some good. We've not been wasting our time. We... I'll tell you what it is. What is it? It's a drum. And it's the offside rear drum. Offside? Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I can't even hear it now. Well, I can. But if you, I tell you what, this is the way I'm looking at this. You've had a look at it. Mm. There's what? nothing Ooh. falling off the car. No. Or the vein. Well, not, not on the roundy, roundy bits. Not, not on the bits. Not, <laughs> not on the up and down bits. I ain't looked at them. Are you concerned with anything you've seen today? No. Good. Is this it? Can you hear a creaky noise? Can, no. you, can you hear the creaky noise? Get in the back of the van. Can you hear the creaky noise? Though? Get in the back. But can you hear the creaky noise? The uh, yeah, that's my chair. Listen, oh. listen. It's my batter. <laughs> get in the van. Are you in the back. No, of course I'm flipping well. Not in the back. I've got to oh. get space first. Move all the soft teddies and I don't know what else Mrs. John Keaton's got in the back there. <laughs> what I can see. There's a load of alluvium. Can you poke your head up, please, so I can show everybody you're in the van? <laughs> Ready? Yes. Right. I'm going to go fast and then slow right down. Let's get some speed up. The noise I can hear is not what I could hear before. Oh. You're right in the back. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> now I heard it that time. Yeah, I did. It's coming from the near side, but I don't think that's the noise I heard before. Oh, it's the noise I've been hearing. <laughs> is it, Al? You've been hearing thunk, 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 It's thunk, the same thunk, noise. Thunk. It's not, this is a squeaky noise. No, the squeaky noise is the tray. You must be able to hear that. I can hear it, but it's not. The, it's, that doesn't sound like it's. It's not a roundy, roundy noise. That isn't. I'm not going to put my brakes on. Can't hear it. No, no. 
Try braking with just the handbrake. Handbrake? Yes, that works just on the back wheels only. There you go, I just did it with the handbrake. Let's try it again. Ready? Yeah. Handbrake. What I'm trying to say to you is, last time I heard this, it was a thud, 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 thud. Ready? This is just like a squeak all the time. That's, the, that's me using the handbrake. Yeah. Yeah? Got my foot on the clutch. Yeah. I'm going to just come to a slow naturally. Okay, no noise. Yeah, I understand. Put my foot on the brake. I didn't hear it then. Actually, no noise, to be honest with you. I wonder if driving it with a handbrake on has cleared it. Here we go. Yeah, now yeah, it's done it. Definitely heard it that time. You heard it that time. Right, I want to tell you which side it is now. But it does it next time. There's that much crap rattling about in here, I can hardly hear it. Yes, the offside rear. Offside rear? Yep. You were right. Good, keep keep doing it. We've not fixed the problem, is what I'm hearing. We have. We haven't? It's not as bad as it was, so. It is as bad as it was. Right, I'm going to get out before you make me sick. Do you want me sick in the back of my van? Yeah, that's why I'm going to get out. <laughs> out you get. But it's not the brake even though it does it when you're braking. Right, okay, so we're back off our road trip and actually uh, the, the noise is still there. We're conflicting about this because you've taken it for a spin on your own. I can't hear it from the driver's seat. I, I can hear it. I probably drive differently to you. Yes. It's just unusual that it's sort of happened all of a sudden. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. So we've not solved the problem, but the sun is setting and Mrs. John Cooper has given me a 10 minute warning yeah, well for, he breaks out for my pieces. dinner. There's what? nothing falling off, there's no. nothing visibly unsafe. So. And, and that was my concern. We wanted, I wanted to just double check there was nothing falling off. So not as though you've got another vehicle to use though, is it? <laughs> yeah. it's, a bit, yeah. it's a bit awkward when you've only got the van to yeah. use. All right, thanks very much. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> I might have to borrow the Hyundai. Um, what's the next plan of attack then? It might be a front brake making a noise. It sounds like the back. That's a good point. Yes. Is that a possibility? Oh, yes. There we go. That's another video. We've had a noise at the front of a smart car that yeah. sounded like the back. Yeah, yeah, that is true. It did. It sounded like the rear offside and it was the front near side, wasn't it? Could that be then linked to the squeaky brakes mm, at the front? Probably. So another day. Yeah, we'll have a look at the front. We'll brakes. have a look at the front. Uh, a bit of a nonsense, time wasting, waffling, amateur in the ish extreme video, really. It was the most amateurish thing I've done today. What's even the point? <laughs> most amateur. I suppose the thing we've learnt from this video is A, we haven't fixed the problem, B, nothing is unsafe Not at brake the back. wise at the back, and C, more content to come. Next time I'll see you, we'll take the front bits. Yes, good. Thanks for that. Are you going to come and print tomorrow? Uh, can do. Good, thanks. See ya. I'm going home now for my tea. Yeah, I'm going to get washed. Look at the state on me. Filth. Utter flipping filth. Well, there you have it then. The problem not solved with the Fiat Doblo, but as we've just said, thankfully, Dad's given it the once over and it's not unsafe. And it's not been a wasted journey because Mum's given me a apple and blackberry crumble to take home and have with me dinner. So if all else has failed, I've got some dessert for tonight. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up, please. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so to stay up to date with our antics and to find out what is wrong eventually 
with the van. Comment down below, what do you reckon it could be? It's when we're braking at low speeds. We've checked the back. Is it the front? Let us know. Maybe you've had a similar problem yourself. Till next time, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I genuinely hope you've enjoyed this video. I've selected a couple more from my channel for you that I think that you might like here. Give them a click and it will take you to the next video. Don't forget to hit subscribe to always stay up to date with what we're getting up to.